and an excellent veto that could potentially end on Anubis. <laughs> what a perfect way it would be, right? Uh, let's get it on. G2, T side, Yakinder wants contact. And he's gonna get a little contact. Full body contact, you can't run! Yakinder clipped by Monacy as the Glock bullet bends around the wall. But if he thinks that that one kill means it's an open B bomb site, you would be so entirely wrong. Many more bodies in position. The leash picks up three. Hunter's gonna answer, and he's gonna have to answer massively. Cuts this down into the clutch quickly. It's OC's turn to shine, and he's met by smoke, which means he's met by a massive question. We're gonna try to piece this together. Remember, time is a big issue here, so now he starts to make some sound. This just gives the hunter all he needs, and he stalks his prey creeps out from those bushes and may not even need to kill him. Time decides, but he'll skin OC alive and pick up a pistol round clutch. A big 1v3 to kick it off from Hunter. Smoke goes beyond and Yikinder pushes out. Can't manage to finish off Nico. Good dive back away from the danger. JKS, little SMG on SMG action. That's gonna make OC ever more cautious. He is completely swarmed at the moment. Well, at least surrounded. Now the swarm starts going, Ooh. and he splats JKS back. We've got a couple players preoccupied with the Moto Boost, and oh. then they try to walk through anymore. But hello, OC! We see you! And all of a sudden, that's enough! Okay, look Liquid alive. bounce back. Dude, he's just clearing him. Lost the 1v1 versus Hunter, said I had more to show than that. Let me shoot back next time. I was already about to praise the aim control as he's falling out of apartments, right? The oh. right amount of patience. And he's dishing out haircuts. Praising their CT side setups primarily. But Hooksy makes them work for it whenever you want a round on an anti-ego. I'm just getting away from you, Kinder. Hunter picks up two kills. Hooksy's gonna press out. Decides to try and take this one into his own hands again. And no, oh, what goes around comes around. Dirty Deagle shot from JKS. If these are the kinds of individual levels we're gonna get, unbelievable. But it's not all about individual performance. Sometimes it's about that brain fluid. Oh man, JKS and, uh, has to think here. Hooksy's juices flowing as he'll rotate that bomb away. And JKS is gonna keep everybody so preoccupied that Elise is still looking at this bomb site. But now that ticking that's not present confirms what his dread. Very cerebral moment there from JKS to pick up his M4 and the pre-aim to the top of the barrel on OC. Clean second kill. Look at this, man. Oh, it's such a soft adjustment. Four members of G2 to start coming around the brackets, but they don't actually Ooh. extend out far enough to get spotted by the 5-7. Oh! Hooksy just plucked the Canadian goose from the sky. That's illegal. And now he's gonna round the bomb site. Finds Nitro just as quickly. And Elige from the corner of the bomb site reveals that there is an M4 here, so G2 need to know that there is a threat, singular. And if they try to redirect over towards the B site, oh, like Hooksy did last round. Well, there's still a bit of friction. Some resistance could be offered by Yakinder. Yeah, there's a lurk coming, but now all the TTs are coming this way. Clean first frag versus Nico. Exactly what you would have hoped for. Of course, caught by the smoke. So he'll have to just bite his tongue as Hunter punches it in. Oh, no plant! No time! Oh, wait! No! He jumps off! Pressured by CT, and the kills don't find themselves. It's Liquid to take it back oh. by a Yakinder. I think he maybe glanced at the clock right after. See if he can cue that up again, but it's not apartments here. It's the B hit, and it's Nitro. Ready and waiting. Oh, but Hunter, clean kill. Reacts to the lesser weapon in that MP9. It's a ton of damage, sure enough. Only 30 HP to respond with, but he does respond. And now that AK. Given over to Nico, fully HP, nearly, sitting into this backside. And it's his brother right in front. Body guarding, body blocking, and JKS goes down for essentially free. Three CTs meant to work this forward. Utilities off of the mark. Can Hunter sell this? Can Nico clutch it? Will he be needed? Because that Tech 9 drops, and here comes Nico's rifle. It's headshots galore. All three dead, and Nico's gonna keep it back and forth. Tuck him in, son.
They're put to bed. Frag on his feet, 46 health as he reels away from Banana. Here comes the pop. We've already got terrorists down inside of the pit. It's a leash to try and draw attention because the other counter terrorists are just stuck along this wall. Such little room for Naf to work with, and those flashbangs are his burden. Yakinder tries to climb over top of the box, but it's an empty-handed defense despite best efforts. Hooksy, Nico both survive, and G2 off of the apps pop. There was nobody there to stop them. Yeah, so what we saw right there was just a really good gamble from G2. Their strat isn't based off of reacting to any information that we could see. It's gonna have an entire pack of players to try and pop, but it's Nico who pops instead, pops forward. And Nitro actually from this corner is able to engage, but then traded, of course, by JKS. And Yakinder met by smoke means it would have to be the Hail Mary. <laughs> it was an open invitation with that quad spam. T players shuffling around the bomb site. We're gonna get an op versus op fight with a rifle in front. JKS finds vision over top, and Monacy strikes down Yakinder. That second op of Team Liquid doesn't even get off a single shot. And so they are still not able to hold wow. nothing on that B site, barring Nitro's first one. That was abysmal. That was abysmal. Even with Nitro having a first player who wasn't even looking at him for that long, it felt like they had no odds to be able to win that. With Nico dying, it doesn't seem like it would have made a difference at all. It really has come down to this one guy in the site. There's not much else behind it. Yakinder doesn't get a kill. Two ops go down here for G2. Pieces in position. Few sets of Kevlar. I like this from Alige as he presses out. Gets caught by Hunter though. He's not the only player here on this arch play, but spam a 5-7 through smoke and you invite that AK headshot to come soaring right back through. Can the actual A players offer much? OC, nah, kill a piece already. Oh, Further dang. damage. And it makes you wonder, had Alige been able to get away with something or your Kinder connects with that spam? then it could have made things sketchy. But again, three survive. You get through that half by, and it's a 9-2 T side. But then there's also this momentary lapse in any kind of action. And the counter terrorists see that as an invitation. JKS, singular kill. Elige able to escape, and by dropping smoke, it's a little bit desperate. Hunter wanted to chase him down, and it just becomes way too tough. Four versus two looks great on Liquid. And Elige gonna continue to try and tear them up. It's gonna be the short play. All that's left to be offered. Hooksy on the op and four HP will concede this one. Finally, Liquid yeah. will get one back and put a stop to the G2 fire. JKS is extended further. Man, not too far. This is pretty interesting from G2, but OC's in a good spot. Sitting duck. Get a quick train change here from G2, comes sprinting over. OC was problematic on Arch. Can he offer anything from that deep CT angle or does it need to be Nitro? Blinded, but still he goes down empty handed. And Team Liquid are gonna emphasize the Coffin's control. They leave Naf back. I'm honestly worried as there is no smoke on that CT peak. OC does have one to maybe cover Bomb. We've got a couple of kits, but Monacy decides to get aggressive. And with him and Hunter and Nico as well, it's G2 to lock in the post plan. Oh, I'm not surprised that they could do that in the 3v3. You know, Rain sat up back right now like... Watch, okay. watch our Roth demo. He'll figure it out. Ooh, that's an easy kill versus Nico. What a glorious feeling that must be for somebody like Nico. Finally, doesn't have to be that one-man army. Glances over at his brother in Hunter. And sees him towards that top board. Kinder though, off connects. Hook C, nice little spray from G2's in-game leader. And now man advantage to just close out yet another. This B site belongs to G2. And Yakinder cowering in the corner with nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. G2 will not stop at 10. Damn, they had him locked up and he had to leave because he was such low HP. The bomb would still kill him from that distance. In fact, the one team that maybe has been buffed because of JKS go to the M4. Nitro not going to get away with his life, but at least a nice opening kill. And Yakinder wants blood, wants revenge, and wants that fourth round added to the tally for Liquid's defense. So we've actually got a great little bit of space here for Hunter and Monacy to both work up. They're going to get dangerously close to this defense, and Naf is suddenly preoccupied with Pit. It burns all the way onto him. Oh, but the Fomis! 
OC from inside of the site forces JKS to try and clutch, and that's not going to happen. It's OC with a triple to close and a hope for Liquid's T side. So he'll play counter flash. Expecting a whole pack of players. Well, guess what? Here they come. And guess what? There they go. Yakinder, nothing to show from that entry attempt. It is only Naf to get it going. Ooh, but, oh, a team kill Ooh. to just make things that little bit more interesting. OC shoots Naf in the back of the head despite Naf's best efforts to get this one clean. He gets executed, betrayed, and now it's this silent creep up that all of a sudden could catch Liquid off guard. They have no idea. Hunter, again, it's silent, and again, it's JKS at the top. Oh, he's got the laser cannon, man. JKS, when's he gonna stop? And that is two clutch rounds, one on pistols for G2 in this map alone. That can obviously be map defining, but that's not looking at the fact that outside of those pistols, G2 have clearly still been the better team. No doubt. Man, so at the very least, Liquid, they're going to show that G2 not only have proven already at this tournament that they're one of the best new teams in the world at the, right now. G2 had to pick into this and look at what's happening. Yo, look at the speed. Look at the tenacity. Look at the violence. Hunter and JKS just come barreling down alt mid. They want to suffocate Liquid early because think back to what happened at the start of the first half. That back and forth is where Liquid ended up getting half of their rounds. Well, it's not looking likely this time. Crummy pistols and JKS is going to find them with their backs turned. I mean, this guy is a killer. And he's not going to let Liquid have any chance at an early conversion. Oh, they have they, to hold this off. Is that what the K stands for? Yeah. yeah. Hooksy setting up Nico for a re-aggression here. Hadn't actually managed to get all the way around this wall, so he'll have to go deeper than that. And there is another flash. But OC's right there. We got a lot of bodies for Liquid looking to gun for this bomb site. Not bad. And we've got a lot of hope on Hooksy to perform above and beyond. Now he is 15 and 9 at the moment, so one, two kills. Not unthinkable, but Nitro comes out. In-game leaders clash, and JKS will be turned away. So Team Liquid, off of a five versus four because of Hunter's aggression, get another Kovach fight elsewhere, and then just follow through smoothly, right? We talk about Liquid's T-side. Well, here is a nice, clean start that could give them hope, but it's a hell of a journey to try and even catch up to G2. Yeah, having some rounds here. They've got enough energy for the whole match. They really want to show themselves that they're playing well. I think that's a, a huge thing for Elise when he comes in the interviews. He's just so pleased that they're playing to the level that they, he knows they can play at. It's never we were playing out of our expectations. It's either I want to look at the different looks that they bring to Banana mm. to show what Liquid could have potentially done better. But we'll see if Liquid can actually beat them here. Ooh, oh. Nice second. Oh. And that's going to be Modesty right back to the action. They thought that Util had the opper off, but Nico created a little pocket of timing that was perfect for Monacy to re-engage. How many rounds did Liquid try something like that? But it's G2, eight map points to come. Win. They're touching on it. Liquid gonna try to send that back, but it's barely any shrapnel against Nico. And again, right? Looks he's here to support, but it's the Nico Monacy duo. Oh. And as they come around that oh, corner, what? You, you just can't. You simply can't challenge him, Watch him and whip. expect to get away. At least not in one piece. 3v5 is what it calls for. Pressure mounting and a passive setup that again, Liquid just don't get anything to work with. An ambitious spam, it's a little bit of damage, but it's an easy reposition for JKS. And now it's crunch time. JKS and Hooksy lock it in. G2 don't Break a sweat. G2, do not tremble. G2, have not stuttered. But if there's a map that Liquid are going to take that should be handed to them, it is Mirage. KS, ooh, down beneath. Who else is here? Nico, Monacy, away from the jungle. Smoke shrouding at their angles. And so they have to forfeit that control. What? Haven't forfeited the round just yet. We're gonna get three players trying to press out from the ticket. Meanwhile, Hunter just kind of keeping things cool, gets pressured, and deals with that pressure wonderfully. Two kills out of Hunter, and an instant headshot from Nico will draw Nath into the action. Not ideal at all. We've got, oh, but he doesn't even need to see him. Hooksy gets taken off of that. Defuse, oh. another from Nath. 
A P250 tearing them up, but then Hunter's gonna give that cover. Triple kill from Hunter in the retake, and a couple seconds to spare for that 10 second stick. It's gonna be hard mode for everybody else. Up next, Nitro. We get footsteps towards Khan, so Fantasy, high alert. Sees a couple players, deals with it swiftly, oh. and the USP to just make sure that there's no forward momentum there from Liquid. Desert Eagle from OC has been good, but not nearly enough. 38 damage. Liquid, where are you at? So they get what they want, and then are given space here to try and thrive. We know that Yakinder is world class. A Counter-Strike rock star that looks to rock G2 on this favored retake, and sure enough, instant headshot onto the initial A player, but Hunter starts to work upwards. Spray gets away from him, and it's OC's Deke to connect to the face. Now, Nico needed Ooh. to get through that hole, and no chance. Wow. 3v4 with pistols, essentially. Yes. Flirting with the now, jump spot. Now, looking at Hunter's position, spot how far he is up cat is really important. He's gonna tuck into the arch. JKS gets good support, but Nitro killed back by Hooksy, and JKS sees that as an invite to try and come and crunch. And there's the headshot to Nap, another on OC. Defense holds strong, of course it's JKS. And not over towards the A site, not underneath that balk. Nico comes back in from middle. Yeah, they've activated on mid to clear it out from the window. Oh, what a shot. Regains vision just in time. Nico gonna pressure the palace peak. It's actually Hooksy to catch that flank over on the B site, so suddenly Team Liquid feel like the only fight is forward. And Yakinder comes down those stairs. Yakinder pressing right into Nico, but what is that snap? Ready for the walkout. And that is just gonna start. Ooh, strong arm stuff liquid. He ate that flash like he was looking forward to it and then just waited. They didn't kill him on the first peak. And then Nico joined in. I think what Nico did, he, he was probably standing on the outside of the smoke, but blocking, blocking someone from getting fully out of it. Oh no. No. Ooh. OC gonna hang on. Not versus OC. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Looks fast. If there's anything Nico knows he has. Speaking of fast, oh. that's the flash. Hooks, he's killed it. Yeah, that's it. Wow, it's so easy. And at that point, the Kinder can't move. He also can't see. But now, yeah, oh, he has every right in the world to take a swing. Now we've got him where he belongs. Ooh, Mossy. <laughs> Not even giving him a chance to leave. See you next round. Yeah, we talk about impact. We talk about Monacy as well. He's been taking pictures all tournament. No they got chance. decimated. Fried. No survivor. You walked into this. You thought it was going to be easy, but... G2 banking on that Monacy play, right? We kind of painted this picture on Inferno where it was the henchman in front of Monacy so that he could just keep himself reserved. Well, now he's at the front line. Now he's at the top of this board, and we're starting to see those op highlights come out. That A site, as far as G2 is concerned. They're going to run it. CT's waiting. JKS. It's a highlight. Way too easy. You need Kevlar. You need nades. You need a little more pep in your step if you you're going to push back JKS. You need six guys to kill JKS these days. Think he's just going to sit on that A site every round? No, 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 no. He's going to go hunting. Oh, takes down the bottom of the totem pole. Yakinder, double kill. Nice trade. That was the setup. Yakinder was meant to shine, thrive, fly. And he picks up two despite being on 16 health. But now he's gonna just start to stuff them. JKS, insta headshot, down goes Naf. Uh-oh. There goes, man, advantage. That's and now big. that little bit of health that Yakinder's got left, well, it gets swept away by Hunter. Wow. Inside connector. He'll keep them back. Quick head crack with an AK would be nice. Or, you know what? This space is also gonna bode well here for Liquid. Oh. And Elise gets his chance. Takes down the Aussie. And Nitro gets off of the bomb site. Ooh, it's playing a default. They're right? playing Tetris. This is very risky, but it might be the move. Oh, man. They don't have a Molotov. CT's working with two kits. Oh, insta-kill out of Hunter. Nice and clean. It's Hooksy versus Nitro. Battle of the big brains. And Nitro, well, he's just waiting for to find him in the open. Not gonna happen. Not today. Hooksy's world. Hooksy's chance. Wow. Hooksy's round.
Hooksy looking composed. Again, right? Oh, Not brought man. in to get quantity when it comes to kills. But you pick up a clutch here, man. Everybody else is just gonna thank you for your efforts. And then that's gonna set up the likes of Hunter to continue to tear him up. Man advantage once more for G2. And Monacy off swinging in mid. With Ambitious US USP, who are you? How dare you? I think it's flowing through them, at least on this CT side. This is history, you know, no matter who wins it. But G2 winning it potentially in this fashion. You go waiting for the full strafe here. Let's see if he's right. Oh, that's something that he saw. Looks away. Well, they, they cross the site, which is the big one. And oh, the spray is good for AKS. Denied. And then everybody else is going to start scrambling back. All the attention drawn towards Ticket. OC, alternative plants. And that one's going to go down. Ooh. But so is his HP. Stifled to 30. Alige, OC, pistols connect. JKS up next, starts to get this retake moving inwards. Nico is already so close to death that so be it. We've got smoke on bomb. We've got op on Alige. And we've got that quick tap. And he reveals himself, his hope, his desperation to find Hooksy as he continues that defuse all the way. Five second stick, nine three half. No sign of stopping. Oh, man. Smoke soon to fade. This is temporary. He might be nervous about it, but honestly, will he get spammed? Yes, he, he will. Gets away. But not killed. He manages. Hunter tries to come off with a cat with an assistance, but instead. It's Nitro to end that one. And Alige caught Hooksy. That was a deep shot. That was incredibly deep. All the way through those apartments. Oh, yeah. That was a sliver. All right, well. Nico's not afraid here. Nico's confident to stick around. Oh, this is quite a play. I mean, he takes that kill with the move and underpass. Well done. Okay, but now there's only two up. Nico, oh, oh man, he's not done. Finishes Nitro. Bomb has to be retrieved, so that's going to slow things down, and Alige hasn't decided to commit to that exit. Yes, but they know it's an A player and Nico left over, so I think they feel pretty confident. I think, I think they want to get kills. I'm not sure how much they want to commit. Well, Alige given a chance early, but... It's when he really commits that he also connects. Yeah. Shuts down the last two. But the kid's got his AWP. Naf doubles back, and nice trade out of JKS. It's the only player for the A-lean when it comes to Liquid setup. That could be an invitation for Nitro to try to move out and, and talk about invites. OC just connected with the golden ticket. Let's see these individuals shine. That will certainly not help. A CT smoke that blocks off one of their two avenues of a retake attempt. Luckily, they've got another, but that means they can't put it on the bomb. Nitro, going to keep it tucked in. We've got a Hunter in a liege as he wraps around Market, so this is time sensitive. And Hunter, he's got that first one, but a liege has gotten into his position already, which means it's going to be Liquid to add a third at the end of the half. They double their rounds when it matters most. Can they push this to Anubis? On a T side, on a map that they want to end this event with, Hooksy at the helm, jumps down into the bomb site. Yakinder, it's a one and done. Same for Nap. Man advantage goes to G2. A pistol would be wonderful. A consistency in this event has been the oh. G2 pistol win. And guess what? On the brink of another, unless Nitro has to press out and kill both the Kovach plus the hot-handed Aussie in JKS. He confirms the position, gets in the gush, one HP and a dream. Hell, a nightmare. No chance. <laughs> JKS been shooting straighter than ever. 16 and 7, leading the way. Key frag on the flank. Nico gets out bottom middle. Here's the movement, so it's completely open A side. I mean, this round could not have been easier for G2. Yeah. They ask themselves, where's the fight? Where's the fun? Nico gets to have his one-man party. Shuts down Naf. There's more where that came from. A couple CTs to peak. Sit down! Forces Yakinder and Nitro to both split up. So that one kill has effectively got Yakinder off of the A site, which would prime the other players of G2 to follow through. But Nitro holds his own, and Alish peeks off of the triple box to shut down that A split. No success, despite Yakinder's absence. It is still a rock solid hold from Team Liquid. Nico, they know he's out of the round for some time. He can't come back to top mid safely because that's where they could be trying to cut him off. All of a sudden, man, they've been blocked off. Flash onto Alish will not have vision. This time, will not have support. 
but he could still take it up on his own. No! Modesty Skalil gets the better of him, and Nitro's chance to regain, to retain everything he can on this A site. His position on ticket makes them nervous, so they try to reroute, redirect, and that just gives it to Yakinder. No bomb plant, no chance. Because Nitro keeps it locked in on ticket, G2 don't feel comfortable, and without comfort, they don't find this 12. Yeah, they didn't seize that opportunity. No nades here on Hooksy or Nico. Money-wise, I'm kind of curious how this ended up. Galil gets away from Nico, double kill for a leash. Easy couple of kills as far as he's concerned. He's got a smoke to try and exit. Actually wants to jump on this. Flies up, catches them unsuspecting that somebody would come flying around in that T-spawn. Poor Hooksy dead and having a hard time now. As is all of G2 to try and crack this defense. They're just fighting for a kill versus an app. He's got support back behind him. And honestly, he may not even need it. The pieces all coming together for Team Liquid. The rounds being racked up and the lead nearly non-existent. Trophy cabinet. It's a great chance to change that tail. Add yourself to the champions of 2022. There's been a lot of teams that have picked up events. And there can only be one more. Pistols is enough to get them onto the bomb site with the plant. But everybody's dead by the time that bomb goes down. Nitro just slaughters the masses as they attempt to push deep on ticket. That's a tied game, folks. And the strongest buy, however, here for G2. There were some strange ones in there. Finally, AKs, right? Ooh. And a quick snap with the op shot. <laughs> if you shoot at him, you better make sure you put him down for good. This is the heaviest firepower they've had. But if you don't have your guns in hand, then you're just a dead oh. man. Monacy uh -oh. gets a glimpse, and here they come. Drop kicking your kinder back down into the underpass. And Elige is next at bat, pressed along the apartments, calling for that rotation. Reinforcements needed. Or are they? He gets Hooksy off of the play, and nobody actually follows suit because nobody is actually there. This rotation looked so desperate for a second, but they had the time to do it. Now they establish, get all their perfect post plan positions. And the CTs are already in a spot where they, they will think about saving as soon as one kill goes wrong. And there it is. Off into the dirt. You hang on to those two AKs, you walk away, Liquid. Face was against the wall, listening to them running through spawn. And he was just a couple meters away, you know, feet. And he could, oh my Ooh, god, that guy stole that. There's what he could have done if he heard it a little earlier. Anchors are going to be in this position. Jump is made up in the halls. Hunter would have heard that. Yeah, oh Hunter would have heard that. The grenade's being dropped on the ground. You know, Hunter just hears this, this slight rumbling above him. He's on high alert, predicts the peak. Hooksy's gonna look for an entry, and the smoke goes down. Nice kill from Elige. It's one, what? but it's Wait. a big one. Wait, what are they doing? Doubling back again? Elige is gonna go try to stuff him on bottom mid, and instead, Nico gets the headshot. Oh, what? Make it a double! They're making it up as they go. Can Nitro really do the unthinkable at this point? G2 decide to sprint away. And to their success, I mean, listen, for a second, it looks sketchy. <laughs> These rotations are actually unreal. They could have just taken the site, they would have been fine. They got all the way out to the balcony. One player got into the site. They didn't see anything, and they still wanted to leave. That looked like some 2015 Virtus Pro double fake. <laughs> uh, they got to be so confused about that, but... They're on the brink of bottoming out the money. With 14, should come 15. Oh, God. He gets exactly oh, what he God. needs. The timing, superb for Nico. And now the desperation sinks in for Yakinder. He's going to have to do this as a one man army, a brick wall needed on a B site. And that smoke, man, that's got Nico thinking. Oh. That's got him predicting. Tried to find the timing, tried to not go too quickly. But again, they're going towards A. Again, they're allergic to that B site. That bomb goes down. And OC, if you've got anything in your tank, oh. if this is your moment, then shine. He drops the bomb first. A couple more bodies right on top of him. Monis, he's not going to let that happen. G2, 14. Two rounds away from winning the tournament. He's got Nav further back behind him. OC's already leaning over here. Listen, if you can, you can just put up a couple. If you can just get in some damage, then so be it. But here they come. The flood, the force, it's Hooksy at the front. And it's OC 
on the back line, trying to lock this in. And as his teammates die empty-handed, the fire forces him outwards. He doesn't want to have to fight this. He needs help now, oh, he's or does up. he? Monacy burns him. And Monacy has set up Nico to try and close a 1v2. Nico, who wants these glorious moments for years, and is now on the brink of getting 15 locked in versus Liquid. Separate engagements to be given. Alige creeps up and denies him that 15th, denies him OT secured. Split almost went way too well. Yakinder turning the corner in the get right just as they turn the corner. Losing his spray with the Falmus, his teammate dying at the same time, but then Nitro gets a kill on the other side of the map. And OT grabs two easily. Dude, shout out OC. Wow. Uh, that's the most energy I've ever seen about, out of OC, and I like it. I'm gonna stay tucked in to get smokes exchanged, both ends of connector. Oh! Not today! He's got the prediction game on lock too, aiming high for the jump back. Yakinder stuck on the sidelines. Yeah. Oh man, that's gotta be gut-wrenching. You've gotta watch this. Oh! Another made easy! Alige walks out from window, dead in an instant. Looking to make magic happen. OC yet again at that B site, but listen, it's not that B is the intended target. Can Nitro go above and beyond? He stops Monacy from his shenanigans, clipped, and a second offered up. OC's got the line of sight. Hooksy's desperate to get past, and with that fire in front of him, OC is stunned, stalled. And Hooksy slips away. And think about the expectations that they had after that finals in Katowice. You bring in the rookie, what's meant to be the next generation, and he had that phenomenal event. On that fallback from the catwalk, but the MP9s are in the right positions. They are indeed waiting for this commitment, which is now already out from ramp. Yakinder into the flames. As he puts out that threat, the nade's gonna find him. No oh. chance to survive. That's two MP9s dead already. That's a liege leaning on a deagle and G2 with a minute to work because there will be no more attempts this year. Final chance to write the final chapter. Hunter, of course, turns it right into a liege, sent to the sidelines, and still OC is nowhere to be found. Hooksy plants that bomb with the hopes of a trophy lift at the end of this year. It's little from OC, and it's far too late. A retake necessary with the talent stacked against him. A phenomenal event from JKS. And while the Kovacs watches on, guess what? Two brothers from Bosnia with a childhood dream to win events since this all started. And ladies and gentlemen, believe your eyes. Abu Dhabi with the newest champions. G2 do the unthinkable. They win a LAN. A first tier one victory for Hunter. A trophy in the cabinet. Because the last champions of 2022 here for Blast World Fire.